Fife Symington is now a businessman. He was the Republican governor of Arizona for six years, elected when the first George Bush was president. Now, a decade after leaving the state house, he takes me to a Phoenix park and discloses something unlike anything uttered by any other high-level U.S. politician. If you if you had been here ten years ago and standing out here and looking up there at the uh, at the lights and the view, um, you would have been astounded. You would have been amazed. Governor Symington is referring to what is now known as the Phoenix Lights, an object videotaped by many and seen by thousands over several nights in the Arizona sky in 1997. Major sighting here. It was described by... However, military personnel claim that the lights were created by high-intensity flares from an Air Force A-10 aircraft. Now, I think that best explains the eyewitness accounts and the actual videotape that we have of them. I mean, we have pretty good videotape. You can see them sort of coming into the screen, one after another after another, almost like there's a helicopter or a plane overhead that you can't see, dropping them one by one. But many Phoenix residents found the government's explanation difficult to swallow. Witnesses is larger than a football field and silent. It was a giant V, all right? Uh -huh. And the right side of the V went over us. The left side was like a couple blocks over. You just didn't know what to do. You know, it was just like, my God, how big is this thing? The great state of Arizona, Fife Symington. The former governor, a Vietnam Air Force veteran, had never publicly acknowledged seeing it until now. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. So why didn't he say anything then? Partly, he says, because he didn't want people to panic. I think as a public figure, you have to be very careful about what you say because uh, people can have pretty uh, emotional reactions. And, and, uh, and I said my goal wasn't to try to stir the pot. And he went to humorous and controversial lengths not to stir the pot. He held a news conference after the Phoenix Lights to announce the mystery had been solved. And now I'll ask Officer Stein and his colleagues to escort the accused into the room so that we may all look upon the guilty party. Don't get him too close to me, please. <laughs> In the alien costume, the governor's chief of staff. Now this just goes to show that you guys are entirely too serious. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts were not amused, especially since the governor was believed to have seen nothing. But now he's coming out. The lights were really brilliant, uh, and it was just fascinating. It, I mean, it was, it was enormous. It just felt otherworldly. You know, you're, in your gut, you could just tell it was otherworldly. Symington will be talking about this in an updated film about UFOs called Out of the Blue. He has also talked with an organization that wants UFO information more out in the open. It's very significant that someone of the stature of a governor would come out and say that they acknowledge that they experienced uh, a UFO um, because it brings a lot of credibility and strength to the case. Governor Symington says he did tell his family, friends, and staff about what he saw early on. I still behind the scenes. Uh, tried to investigate it, but I got nowhere. So what were the Phoenix Lights? Well, frankly, we don't know. What we do know is that it's as much of a mystery today as it was a decade ago. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Phoenix.
Strange lights in the sky that were caught on videotape. And see for yourself, this is the footage that's getting thousands of hits every day on YouTube. The person uh, who uh, claims to have shot the footage says it shows a triangle shaped object moving at incredible speed in the skies over Dublin, Ireland. Joining us right now from London is self proclaimed UFO expert Nick Pope. Nick, uh, thanks for joining us. You are known for your work investigating strange phenomena. What's your take on this one? Well, it's certainly one of the most interesting UFO videos I've ever seen. I mean, I used to work for the Ministry of Defense investigating UFOs. We used to get this sort of stuff. Usually they were just very indistinct, but this is clearly a structured craft of some kind. Really, to get to the bottom of this mystery, we'd need to get hold of the original camera on which this was taken and, and investigate it that way. But until that happens, um, who knows? And you haven't seen that original camera yet, right? Have you asked any indication that they're going to bring it to you? I, I've tried to um, put some feelers out and get hold of it, but so far, no luck. As I say, there's a lot of controversy about even when, when and where this was taken. Clearly, it's taken through, through night vision cameras, so it's showing up things that perhaps the naked eye can't see. But no, we're still trying to get the original. Well, Nick, uh, keep us posted on how that goes, and, and thanks for coming in. Nick Pope, a UFO uh, expert uh, from London, thank you. to the White House, but it's overcast and not safe today here in Washington for a helicopter delivery of the president. The one suspects that he is going to be meeting.